As we all know, uh, the MIDI Guitar 2 software isn't uh, all that good with recording uh, bigger chords and piano playing with the guitar perhaps uh, suffers somewhat from that, I would guess. At least it did it for me in the beginning, so I started using the sustain pedal to create sort of a context for arpeggios and stuff so that I could play against the sustained notes from striking a chord and then pressing the sustain pedal leaving behind the sort of sustained sound of that. What I'm gonna do here now is to demonstrate for you. I have here my uh, sustain pedal and you also see uh, my note inputs here and as soon as I press you can see the blue dot in the lower left corner there and uh, and I guess the notes will change color as I press as well so unintuitively you'll uh, see that the sustained notes are yellow whereas the non-sustained notes are blue and you have a blue dot indicating that uh, I'm pressing the sustain pedal. So the idea here is to play sort of within the chord as soon as you press the sustain pedal. So you sort of decide the context for the notes that you play. It sort of creates its own background as you move along. And once I release the sustain pedal, of course, you have another background perhaps. The great part about this is you can quite easily simulate contexts that are more obvious than it would be just by playing those single lines that we're so used to here as guitarists. But it's it's a, a radical drift difference from just playing the notes. You get interested in dynamics in a completely different way. If I were to raise this whole tone figure, I would just step off the pedal and move it up. If I don't release it, then you would, would get uh, all the 12 notes, of course, and it would only sound like sound porridge. So it's. Can see the notes for yourself it's completely yellow so it's it's up to you of course to to use this with some sort of discretion but i mean you can suggest uh, the chord behind just by
it's of course best to to shift sounds mid mid playing so you don't need it to be completely silent to uh, It's sort of better to do it while some tone is is actually ringing, so you don't uh, feel so sort of feel the change as much. If you don't want that effect. This, of course, doesn't mean that you can play a lot of stuff and not know what the contexts are. It's not like improvising totally free because this very much depends on you actually having a will to perhaps move the harmony one way or another. So, I mean, suggesting a, a context from or uh, straight ahead, uh, perfectly normal two five one. would be a two sub five one but I mean you get the idea this is moving the harmony ways creating a backdrop for yourself deciding on where to go perhaps Thank you. 
this is actually a technique I kind of heard uh, Paul Blade use a lot. Uh, he wasn't that hard on uh, hitting the chords with the left hand, so he often created this kind of harmony with within the context themselves by using the sustain pedal on, on his piano. And, and for us MIDI guitarists, once again, it's since we have this this uh, limitations on what we can play anyway with the software as it is right now these small crutches are are really handy to to use for if you want to hide sort of any problems with striking notes i mean if i'm to play some chords straight out okay so There, for instance, you have something. It could be from not being completely in tune. It could be from uh, something with the guitar. It could be uh, a lot of different stuff. But if I have my sustain pedal here, I can always sort of at least listen in and hear, okay, so do I hear all the notes that I want to be hearing? In? And if I don't, I can add them afterwards without necessarily it being a cat catastrophe for, for the context. saying we're sounding anything like a pianist would perhaps uh, at least not every pianist but at least we can do stuff that we can't do with guitar only so this is an improvement anyway on your setup if you use midi guitar and want something extra to get to help you with suggesting a context or smoothing out the edges or something even for those that are completely new to MIDI guitar, this would be a perfect tool to use to get used to playing sort of slow as well. Because that's an art in, in and of itself, so it's... when to release the sustain pedal. Now perhaps I want to go back to There's really a lot of stuff to do, but I'll let you experiment with that. I just wanted to suggest the possibility to use and see if there's anyone perhaps that finds that somewhat amusing. So uh, if you do, please tell me about it. If you don't, well, you don't need to. Uh, see you later. Bye.